Welcome back, Starfleet Cadets. This is Olbaugh10025 with Star Trek Online free to play only. The only stipulation is I can't actually spend any money on the game to prove that this game is one of the best online role playing free to play games there is. It's not really role playing per se, but it is. It's not. It is. I don't know. Uh, you decide, actually, on that. But you can still have fun. Enjoy the game. It's a little bit more of a grind when you don't have money to spend, but I'm going to be doing this as just a free to play. That's it in the story, and uh, it sucks so because there's some ships I really do want, but um, that's the point about this whole thing is don't spend any money, and you don't have to. This is one of the things, the greatest thing about Star Trek Online, you don't have to spend money. You do everything you want inside the game, and that's it. Period. So, first off, uh, we are level six. Uh, we are lieutenant, and we're getting there, we're getting up there in in uh, in um, in the sphere things uh, level 65 is a max cap around 50 that's when everything really starts opening it up per se 30 about 30 is when stuff starts opening up around 50 though that's when everything opens up and you can do a bunch of different tfos you can do events and all that kind of stuff so right now we're just doing the missions until we get there and then go from there so last we left off we actually went into uh, well first one talus 2 uh, saved a engineering team and then went to this one. We stopped the Gorans from actually uh, killing us and it was a ruse by the Romulans to go ahead and uh, have us fight each other. So now we're going to Deep Space K-13 to figure out what is going on under painful omens. Here we go, guys. We've arrived near Deep Space K-13, Captain. This is odd. I'm not picking up any comm traffic. No signals, nothing at all, from K-13 or the other ships in system. Mm hmm that's interesting. Sensors aren't detecting enemy vessels or warp signatures. No signs of combat either. This is peculiar. I'm not sure what to make of it. It's a trap. I know it is. A oh, Star Wars reference in there. Let's go check out what's going on here. Marmadon and, uh, what, a planner? Pioneer class frigate. Okay, let's see what's going on here. You unruly people, you. Talk on comms, that's all I want you to do. Talk, Captain, talk, talk. The other ships are raising shields and charging weapons. No, you don't. Let's take care of the Marmadon first. That one I think is the toughest one there. A little bit more damage, kinetic damage. I'm gonna generalize my shields here. Another proton blast in there. That did a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, unfortunately, though, um, that is the same class as me. No, actually, it's not. I like that class. It's a destroyer class. Let's go ahead and get a photon in there if we can. Almost. There we go. That did some damage. 36. 97 for my shields. I'm doing pretty good so far, so it's not too bad. 21. No, no. Okay. I guess that I knocked him out. Ow. There we go. That's a good back hit there. Watch this. Another good back hit right here. Right there. Let's slow down a little bit. Disabled, Captain. Interesting. Why are they attacking me? Captain, those were the Starfleet ships assigned to patrol this sector. I don't think that was a war game or training sim. Their weapons were at full power. Yes, they were. Stay away. They'll, they're taking control. Don't come near us. They'll take you too. That's interesting. Ah, this station came from the station. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, Raggy. <laughs> Message from Starfleet Command, Ow. Captain. We're to investigate the situation immediately. And that was quick. Let's go to D Space K13. Let's see what's going on here. Although I could have actually beamed on their on their ships because they're disabled, but I don't know. You know Storyline, I guess, right? No signs of combat on board the station, Captain. No hostile life form readings either. Everything's quiet. Sensors are picking up a number of life signs over there, 
but I'm not reading any unusual activity. All of the station systems seem to be functioning normally. Think we should beam over and have a look around? You think? You think? Okay, now I got two officers, which is kind of cool. That uh, uh, Once I get more officers, it'll have another four more, but yeah, let's go beam over. Let's go see what's going on. <laughs> oh, God. Good story so far. I like the story. I don't like this. No one's at their duty stations. Not even the transporter operator. Station's not on alert. What's happening? Tricorder's picking up a life sign nearby. Looks like they're in sick bay just across the hall. I like these uh, older 2S missions. They're really, really good. Those blast points on the wall are from phaser fire. There was a fight here. But with whom? No sign of Klingon or Romulan weapon fire. Just Federation. I got a bad feeling about this. The lights have all been dimmed, but it looks like sick bay is still operational. Over to the right. Captain, I think I saw motion in that room to the left. Stop where you are and turn about slowly. I need to determine if you are infected. Infected with what? Neural parasites. A life form last encountered by the crew of the Enterprise at Deneva Colony. Those possessed by the creatures tend to engage in hostilities with the uninfected. The better to render them fit for infestation. Well, it seems like uh, the last three episodes, the... The, uh, the Enterprise came in and screwed everything up. To Met, and while you have not engaged in hostilities thus far, I have seen infected employ false passivity in order to lure unwary prey. A tricorder scan of your adrenaline levels should verify your status. Yeah, go right ahead, scan away. Scans show a slightly elevated level of adrenaline, though nowhere near that of an infected life form. Thank you for your patience. One can never be too cautious where these parasites are concerned. According to Starfleet data files, the parasites can be safely destroyed by exposure to high-intensity ultraviolet light. My attempts at reconfiguring the station's lighting thus far have been unsuccessful. I am a physician, not a habitat engineer. As a precaution, I have developed a serum that can render a person toxic to the creatures. However, medical supplies here are limited. I have enough serum to inoculate your landing party and one other person. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Yeah, we're not, we're not alone. Lieutenant Arthur Levon of the USS Bifrost is when the station is able to respond. Now there's a voice I wasn't expecting. I take it you heard my distress call then. Well, Scotty. in case you haven't noticed, the station's been overrun by neural parasites. The weed devils are back with a vengeance. Safe in the sick bag, okay. Uh, I'm afraid not. I'm in the auxiliary control room, down on the engineering deck. The place is filthy with parasites, so you'll understand if I don't go out for a wee jaunt. I have secured a small amount of security gear. It may give you another edge against the parasites. That's security gear from the container. Excellent. Good job. Take security gear. Awesome. Take all. I will Equip take all that. Equip your bridge officers by selecting them, then double-click an item in your inventory to have them equip it. Okay. Let's go uh, give some people some stuff. Obviously, I'm going to get the best stuff. So that is... What is that? 1313 health regeneration, and this is... 7, 17, 5% chance to heal. Uh, receive damage for 5 minutes. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll keep that one. Uh, I think the phaser... I got the same type of phaser, so that's not a big deal. Uh, phaser 2, phaser 2 mark 1. 3. Yeah, okay. 9 phaser damage. Oh, this one's a little bit better, so I'm going to go to take that. That's mine. Thank you very much. Let's equip my bridge officers. Scarven. Let's get you a better weapon here. And let's get this uh, phase rifle out of here. Oh, let's see. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Uh, it's not too bad. Um, 24, 24, 28. I think you're good. I'm going to keep you like that. But Tarsi needs better armor. So let's go trade out the armor for that. Need a, oh, yeah, I need a better weapon, actually. Let's get you the standard Star Trek phaser. Okay, so we got our group going now. 
go ahead and over there and go ahead and get some stuff done okay here we go Okay, reach engineering let's go reach engineering how do we do that when everything's blocked oh wait a thing opened up Lounge. Oh, this is interesting. It's kind of cool, though. Oh, Ensign. Ensign. Sorry. Poor Ensign. Oh, duh. I was hitting the wrong button, actually. I'm like, what the hell? The creatures continue to be resistant to tricorder scans, sir. It may be... Fascinating. I'm detecting an unusually high level of tachyons nearby. Based on these readings, it is possible that a temporal event has occurred on this station within the last 4.2 hours. Temporal events, that's interesting. I like the story so far, it's not bad. You suck. Oh, she's stunned. Okay. That's yeah, okay, let's go over this way. Change that to my phaser, actually. It's a little bit tougher. That's okay. And uh, these are called, um, these are mini missions that you got to do. Well, don't, you don't have to do, but to give you extra materials and everything else. So they give you a little mini game to go and do, go with this as well. See, all you got to do is that, just match up the form and you get some stuff here. Z particles. Yay, Z particles. Okay. Okay, that should work right there. What the hell? Okay, I think it's right here. You guys are like brutes, man. When did they have weightlifters in the Star Trek? <laughs> when was that happen? The auxiliary control station is down the hall to our right. I'm reading a single human life form within the room. The bio signs match those of Commander Scott in the Starfleet Medical Database. Hey, Hi Scotty. there. It's good to see a friendly face. Ah, uh, there you are. I was beginning to get a bit concerned. Thought you might have been taken by those little beasties. I'll just lock the door so none of them can get in while we discuss our next course of action. Now that you're here, we've some work to do. The way I see it, we need to get to main engineering and turn on the station's ultraviolet lighting. That'll sort the nasty buggers out properly. While I cannot attest to the ability of UV light to sort <clears throat> Denovan parasites, it will initiate a complete molecular breakdown within all parasites exposed to it. Aye, she's a Vulcan, all right. I was trying to override the lighting controls from here. It looks like someone sabotaged several duotronic relays. We have to repair them if we're going to have any chance of saving the station. Before we go, grab yourself a kit from the crate there. It might come in handy. We better get a move on. The parasites aren't ones to loiter about. Uh, what's funny is uh, the uh, um, reading and, and uh, uh, finding out about how they decide what type of techno babble they use. They just make it out based Durotronic. I mean, come on. <laughs> they just make up the stuff. It's kind of funny, though. Okay, now we got a kit. Okay, tactical kit, module, photon grenade. Equip a kit to gain new ground combat abilities. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, this is one of the broken relays, right here. So now I got another easy. ability. Just a few more to go. All right, there are several ways through the engineering section here. Keep in mind that the parasites tend to stay in dark corners. If you want to avoid them, do your best to stay in the lit areas. Thank you, Commander. 
Now, the only issue that they have, they don't teach you like in this, uh, what's, is they don't tell you where the kits are, basically, and how to actually go get them. you got to hit this little button here, and then you put the kit, uh, photon grenade, down here, in order to go make it work. Oh, no, it does actually do. Okay, never mind. Sorry. That, that, was, my, that was my mistake there. Okay, so now i got a photon grenade. That's good. I'm going to use that, actually. Good. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, I said there's several ways out of here. Okay, never mind. Looks like a gaming convention right there. Remember, the parasites like the dark. We devils that they are. Oh, see him on the back? That's cool. Ah, I'm hell. Oh no. Oh, I got one on me. Shit. Sucks. Our odds of success are greatest if we remain in well-lit areas. That was actually pretty cool. I didn't realize that that did happen. That doesn't sound too good. I'll have this fixed up straight away. That takes care of that. No trouble at all. Oh, I just hit a woman. Sorry. It's Hunter. Who are you, dude? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to. Earl of Energy, that's awesome. Okay. This is actually a good story. I love it. Okay. Now this may be a bit tricky. Come on, let's go. Just a wee bit longer. I'm throwing photon grenades inside of a ship. Awesome. There we are now. Let's have to say one of the better stories. It's just interesting, you know. Okay, Scotty, let's go. What'd you do? Okay, we gotta go this way, actually. Is this way? Oh shit! Nope, not where we want to go. Oh my god, I'm held by the crystal thingy bobbies, bastards. Okay. We got this. Uh, it looks like someone has overridden the command codes. You best get to the command center and see what you can do from there. I'll stay here, barricade the door, and keep trying to get those UV lights going. Okay, take Jeff's tube. No problem. This is actually pretty cool. I like this. This is fun. Uh, capture command center. Okay, this will be interesting. Look, 
Look, who are those soldiers? They're definitely not Starfleet. Oh shit. Hypo, 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 hypo. Get the lights while the commander's down. Who are they? Those guys are weird. Die flesh thingy bobbies, whatever you are. The parasites, they're dying, all of them. Salvage what you can and send a squad to kill the Federation vermin. Too. Awesome. I like that. We need to talk. Yeah, I was wondering who you are, Hunter. What the hell? Actually, the name's Daniels. This may be a little difficult to absorb, but recent events may make it more plausible. I'm actually from the future. I can't tell you how far. Just that it's a future worth protecting. That's why I'm here now. The aliens we're fighting are called the Nakul, and they're waging a temporal cold war with us. They're trying to change the timeline here in order to disrupt the future. Understand that I follow a temporal version of the Prime Directive. There's only so much I can reveal to you. Trust that we're doing the right thing here. I can't tell you how far. Just that it's a future worth protecting. Time's a factor. We need to stop the Nakul from obtaining the neural parasites. The Nakul ship that brought these invaders is now fighting the USS Ptolemy. Someone must have sent a distress call. Unfortunately, Ptolemy is no match for the Nakul. Neither is your ship, at least not alone. We should eliminate the parasites on the ships you fought earlier. Those crews will help you once their minds are their own again. Oh, it's like risky, to take but out. it's our best. We can return to the ship on your orders. Well, let's do that. I mean, future guy, I don't know who you are. Some stranger that says I'm from the future with no proof. <laughs> okay. The Ptolemy is holding the Nakul off while we rescue the other ships. But they won't last long. K-13... I'm transferring command codes to you now. Use them to remotely access the computer on those disabled ships and emit an ultraviolet flash inside. Okay, sounds good. This is Captain Seralto, the Ptolemy. We have engaged the enemy ship, but we are outmatched. Please restore those ships and join the fight quickly. That did it, Captain. Looks like everyone's coming around. The parasites are gone. This is Captain Doherty of the USS Myrmidon. What... what happened? What's going on? What's going on? By parasites. Parasites? What... Okay, sorry. We're right behind you, Captain. Lead the way. Acknowledged. It's actually wrong. a good story, I like this. We're not doing any damage. They have some kind of... temporal shielding. Temporal shielding? Never heard of it. But maybe a modulated iron burst could disrupt it. This shield's pretty good. Yeah, we got Scotty on our team, I'll tell you that. There we go. Fine work, Captain. You sent those devils back to wherever they came from. Aye, uh, we do have a wee problem, however. The burst I sent, when combined with the power source, created a feedback pulse. The feedback is creating some kind of spatial anomaly, which is beginning to pull the station in. We need to evacuate immediately. Oh shit. That sucks. 
That's not good. That's not good at all. Evacuate the station. Whoever's Scott left here. the station. The collapsing. We're in for a right bumpy ride. Everyone's aboard. Get us clear before that portal blows. Ah, uh, poor K-13. I don't think anyone's ever seen a station do that. Oh. That's interesting. In the other episode... Before K-13 was pulled into the vortex, I picked up a few distress signals from inside the station. Uh, what's kind of cool is on further episodes, um... They actually, the K-13 gets transferred back in time to another distant galaxy type thing. And it's actually pretty cool because uh, this is probably what happened, I think. Perhaps not. After all, it was a temporal vortex. They may well survive in another time. That's kind of cool. I love that. Well then, it's been quite a day, hasn't it? Neural parasites, time traveling readers. Why, things will seem almost normal once I'm back on the Enterprise. Speaking of, I'm sure the ships here can give me a lift back to her now that they're parasite free. If Starfleet Command gives you any grief on this, remind them that lives are more valuable than equipment. And you saved a lot of lives today. My regards, Captain I Kurt. apologize for springing all of this on you at the last minute. And I'll explain <laughs> more as soon as I can. For now, I can tell you that history is unfolding as it should, and that was not the end of K-13. You're building a fine tradition of making the right decisions in crisis situations. In the meantime, don't talk to anyone about the Nakul or their time travel. We can't risk any further corruption of the timeline. I still don't know who you are. You haven't proved you're from a timeline, so... System scans clear, Captain. Looks like everything's getting back to normal. We can leave... Okay, let's take off. This is like one of the best stories I've seen, man. This is awesome. That was a good good story. I'm, I'm happy they, they do some really good stories. That was kind of cool. That was cool, actually. Let me get this straight. K-13, an entire space station, just disappeared into some type of spatial anomaly? <laughs> and I thought some of Kirk's after-action reports were a little out there. Starfleet Command won't be pleased with the loss of K-13, or the people that were still on board. But they'll be happy to hear about the lives you did save. Good work out there. Keep it up. Okay, so it looks like I got um, to met the science officer, fo uh, photon torpedoes, which is good. Uh, some shields and deleting more. So cool. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Stay Congratulations, safe. Lieutenant. I also gained a level, which is awesome. And we got the got her. Okay, so let's. Uh, that means I got um, some ability from her. Tractor beam. So that's kinetic damage. That's not too bad. So what I'm going to do is let's go upgrade all my stuff here. That was actually a short episode. That was interesting. We have a problem at battle. No, nope, I don't want to. Caridian nope. Rep. I have nope, some new nope. order. Don't want to. Um, I hate when I do that. Actually, it's really crappy. I don't like it. Obviously, let's give you a better shield. Get you some armor. That one sucks. I think. Hold on. Thirteen. Um. Current seventeen. And let's go with just what I have here. And uh, better phaser. No, you got a better phaser. Tomet's what I need, actually. There we go. Let's give her some better armor. Obviously, she needs some. And a better phaser. And I go to my assets. Refine my ore. There we go. And, uh, yeah, the armor's good. I got four officers. I think next I'll be getting Tarsus a tactical. I might not be getting another officer. I'm not sure. And then the Bifrost got some stuff. Better torpedo launcher, which I definitely needed by far. Definitely needed that one. And then the number two. So the cool thing is, is this doesn't give me anything. So let's just go do that one there. But this does give me some credits. So let's go. Uh, let's go discard this. Either, you can either go to the um, space station, sell it, or you could just go and discard it and gives you money down here. It gives me four hundred. So that's good. Um, for all this other stuff, the same thing. Discard. Don't need all my other stuff. It's much better. So all this other stuff, I think, gives me something cool. But I do have some money now. I could actually purchase better, better equipment. I'm getting money. That's what you got to do. 
Okay, so Bifrost is doing pretty good. I got an extra skill point. Let's check out what that is here. Um, yeah, probably lasers, actually. That's about it, really. I mean, I can't really do much. But at this point, I get uh, cannon fire, rapid cannon fire. Cool. Okay, so let's go to uh, this, purchase this one here. So now I have a hundred, uh, plus 50% total damage. Skill bonus. Uh, next, what is that? Targeting expertise. Targeting lasers. I'm probably going to do the photons next and then work my way down. But this gave me... What does it give me? It gave me... Um, unlocks the ability to train your British officers in the new space ability. Attack down beam 3. Ooh, that's kind of cool. These are um, bigger level stuff, though, so I'm not going to be able not gonna be able to do much with it, though. You want to get some more stuff out of this. But anyways, that was the Adventures Episode 3 of Star Trek Online, a free-to-play only. I just have, that was a good story. Oh, my God, that was so good. I love that story. Um, yeah, so anyways, thank you for watching. I do appreciate you watching. Hit that like button, subscribe button, and the bell button if you guys can. I'll be doing this every Tuesday and Thursdays. I will have a hint and an episode Tuesdays and Thursdays. So you guys have a good time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in Star Trek Online. Thank you.